Hi, this is Allie from The Perception Trainers, author of The Perception Diet, and today I want to talk to you about five ways that you can improve your relationship with your body. So to start this off, uh, the first thing I think that we need to talk about, and the first thing that I would, I would really in, um, invite you to start wrapping your mind around, is the idea that your body is 100% fully and completely on your side. Okay, so for most of us, and just so that you under, so that you know, I fully understand this because I've been through it myself. Most of us walk around believing that our bodies are flawed, that our bodies are against us, and that and that you know our bodies are something that we need to kind of uh, beat down or or try and suppress what they're doing so that we can get them to do what we want them to do or whatever. Okay, so the first thing to understand is that your body is on your side. It's fully and completely wired for your survival. It's fully and completely wired to be healthy. It wants to thrive. It wants to survive. It wants to keep you healthy, happy, and holy. And, and the thing that has happened for almost all of us is that we have lost connection with our bodies. We have strayed from what our bodies need. We have strayed from what our bodies are telling us is natural and, and healthful for them, not the other way around. Our bodies have not strayed from us, okay? So this is the first thing that I want you to just start to get used to the idea that your body is actually on your side and that everything that it does is for your good and for your survival and its best, its best option for the given circumstance for keeping you healthy alive and alive okay so when when I talk about this I want you to know that I didn't always feel this way about my body okay I used to fully and completely believe that my body was against me I used to fully and completely believe that my body was broken that my body was messed up and that it was never going to be fixed and it was never going to be healthy I I struggled with stomach aches pretty much my entire life uh, up until I you know re-established my relationship with my body I struggled with my weight I struggled with my hormones I struggled with all sorts of things like my body was just way 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 out of whack and again right I I like everybody else on the planet um, thought that it was because there was something wrong with my body I really believed that my body was flawed and broken and that I I needed to do all of these things and jump through all these hoops to try and figure out what was wrong with it or you know I also you know spent a lot of time um, resisting my body and trying to fight back against what it was doing because I felt like what it was doing was you know, trying to screw me over to be honest right and I think that we we can all feel that way at some time like uh, like our bodies want to gain weight and they just want to be fat and we have to do everything in our power to fight our body's will to be fat like the the battle of the bulge right or you know we we hate our bodies when when we have really painful periods or and we feel like we need to fight against what our body is doing and and to be honest, you know, this way of living and this way of fighting against our bodies and trying to uh, uh, avoid what they're doing and trying to undo what they're naturally doing just gets us into the hole deeper, right? And I, and I, think, that, I think we can all kind of attest to that. The longer that we fight our bodies, the longer that we uh, resist what our bodies are naturally doing, the longer we stay sick, the longer we suffer. And the second thing that I kind of want to introduce in this video is the same thing that we've been talking about with our emotions. That your emotions are, are a guidance system for you, for your life, and for your, your path. It is, it is exactly the same with your body, okay? So your body, it, just like it, it, it is responding to the physical stimuli, so it's responding to the food you're putting in, it's responding to the air you're breathing, it's responding to the, uh, the exercise that you're doing, it's also responding energetically and emotionally, right? It's responding to your emotional state. It's responding to the the emotions and what you're feeling from the people around you. It's responding to the things that you're choosing to do and the path that you're choosing to take. And and again, so if you feel like your body is reacting badly to what's going on in your life right now, it may be that your body is just trying to let you know that, you know, things have gotten out of alignment. Things have gone off center. Things have gone off kilter. 
And so again, like a little personal story from my life, I, I spent a lot of my time, you know, working jobs that were not meant for me, trying to be in relationships with people that were not in alignment with who I wanted to be in a relationship with and my body would physically react to all of that. I would puff up when I had to spend a whole bunch of time with people that were were energetically, you know, rough for me to be around. I um, you know, I I consider now looking back, I, I look at that as like my body trying to protect me, trying to make, you know, that layer of protection, that layer of fat, that layer of puff to try and protect me from the harsh realities of my of my reality at the time. And, and I mean, like, we can look at this in many, many different ways, and we can say it's, like, hormonal, we can say it's energetic, we can say it's, you know, uh, emotional, but really, at the end of the day, it's that we're all saying the same thing, is that our bodies are responding, not only to the physical stimuli of life, but our bodies are responding to the energetic, the emotional, the spiritual stimuli of life as well. And so, if we're to, if we're to kind of flip our thinking, just for a moment, and just, you know, assume that your body's on your side and that everything it's doing is for you, not against you. So it's gaining weight because it's that's what it knows to do right now to help keep you safe. It's you're having physical symptoms. That's what it knows to do right now to help keep you safe. That's how it's responding to its environment. So not to screw you over. Not because it wants to be sick, not because it wants to be unhealthy, not because it wants to be overweight, but because that's its response, that's its best thing it knows to do in the current situation you're in, okay? So for example, think of it this way. If you got a virus in your system, okay? So you get a virus and your body didn't react with a fever and didn't react by creating excess mucus and didn't react by getting you to vomit and didn't react by giving you diarrhea, you would die. That's what would happen. So instead of thinking like oh my body's sick because i have a runny nose and vomiting and i feel nauseous because i have a virus you think no this is the body doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing when it gets a virus right so we assume that if we can assume that if we can assume that right um then we can look at all diseases this way that if this is how the body's reacting in order to keep you alive this is what it's doing because it's the best thing it knows to do to keep you alive. It's the best thing it knows to do to keep you thriving. And so that's why it's so important to re-establish a trusting, loving, caring, nurturing, understanding relationship with your body. And this can take time, okay? So like this is not something that you're gonna walk, you know, wake up tomorrow and be like, I've got this perfectly mended relationship with my body. I took, I took several years to, to mend my relationship with my body. And honestly, I'm probably, I'm still working on it, right? There are still things that, like little tweaks that probably need to be made in my relationship with my body. But the thing is that, you know, the more you kind of focus on this and the more you go down this path, the healthier and happier and more you're gonna thrive, the more you're gonna trust your body, the more you're gonna understand how it communicates. And, and this is how really we get rid of disease. This is how we really get rid of the things that are holding us back physically is by understanding that your body is fully on your side. It's doing exactly what it knows to do to keep you alive and, and to keep you thriving and that it's responding to the stimuli. It's just doing what it, it's doing based on what's happening in your life, okay? So to start, if you're just if you're someone who's sitting there right now really feeling like your body is just messed up and it's not on your side and it's and it's broken and you know everyone else's body is reacting how it's supposed to but yours is the one that's not doing what it's supposed to do here are my five tips for how to just start mending that relationship with your body because like I said it's gonna be a process it you're not gonna wake up it's the same thing if you have a terrible relationship with your father or with your husband you're not gonna wake up tomorrow and just have a better relationship or like a perfect relationship with them because you decided you wanted to right it's gonna take some time it's gonna take some process it's gonna take some journeying and some trial and error and that's beautiful and that's perfect and you give yourself the time and the space to go through this process of re-establishing a healthy relationship with your body because you're worth it. And the other, the reason I say re-establishing is because when you were born, when you were a baby, you fully trusted your body. You understood that you, you ate when you were hungry, you pooped when you needed to poop, you slept when you needed to sleep, you cried when you were around people you didn't like being around. You understood, you were connected. 
okay? So it's not that you've lost the connection, it's just that you've forgotten the connection, okay? So that's why you're re-establishing this connection. So step one, just start noticing. Just start noticing your body. Just start noticing what physical hunger feels like. Start noticing when you're sleepy. Start noticing what it feels like to be in different situations with different groups of people. Just start taking note. You don't have to do anything about it. You don't have to change anything. I'd, I'm just inviting you to simply start noticing that your body is sending you signals all day, every day about your environment, about what you're doing, about what you're thinking, about what you're eating. And and oftentimes we just, we're so numbed out to it, we don't even know that our body are talk, is talking to us anymore, right? So step one is just to start noticing that your body is communicating with you and just noticing those signals. Step number two, start to notice when you're tired and see if you can sleep or rest when you're tired. Most of us, again, right, we're so used to fighting our bodies. We're so used to not you know, we're used to just assuming that what the signals that our bodies are sending us are against us and it's like against our timeline and against what we want to be doing. But the again, like the longer we kind of live with that, that understanding and that idea and those habits, the longer we're going to stay not, not having a very good relationship with our body and not feeling great. So noticing when you're tired and seeing if you can rearrange your schedule so that you can sleep a little more when you're tired or if you can take a nap or if you can go to bed an hour early or if you can go to bed 20 minutes early just starting to notice okay my body's telling me it needs sleep I need more sleep can I give it a little bit more sleep third thing is noticing your cravings and noticing when when you when you when you uh, when you eat the foods that you're craving how it makes you feel so if you're craving a lot of processed foods, if you're craving chocolate, if you're craving chips, if you're craving deep fried foods, if you're craving these foods, I'm not telling you to stop eating them. I'm telling you to just become consciously aware of what happens in your body and in your emotions when you consume those foods. Just notice, does it numb you out? Does it help give you energy? Does it help give you the ability to you know, manage a tough emotional situation or a stress situation. Just start to notice what it is that you're getting from these foods that you're consuming. And if you crave things like pineapple, if you crave things like oranges, again, just notice. Notice how it makes you feel when you consume those foods. Notice how it makes you feel when you eat the foods that you're craving and see what might be underneath that. Just noticing. Just noticing what it is when you crave those foods. Uh, third, fourth thing is I want you to just start journaling. Just start journaling about your body. Journal about the things that you noticed during the day when you, uh, when you, like, you can journal your food cravings. You can journal about how your food cravings corresponded to what was going on that day or what was going on that week. You can journal about your sleep habits. You can journal about how, um, you know, these different things in your life are affecting you physically. Like, even if you want to journal about, you know, like, how your body physically reacts when you're in a stressful situation. Like, you know, you can say, like, I got constipated. I notice that I get constipated every single time I'm around this person or every single time this situation happens to me. Just start journaling. Just start writing. Just start noticing that things are happening, right? And that your body's responding to these different things in your life in a similar way every time. And then the fifth thing is for you to start communicating back with your body. So this is, this is the best one, I think. This is the one that I think is going to be most helpful, is for you to start saying to your body when you wake up in the morning, I love you, body. Thank you for housing me. Thank you for keeping me safe. Thank you for being the thing that enables me to do everything that I do in my life. I'm probably very used to berating you and telling you all the things I don't like about you, so I'm just gonna say, you know, this morning, thank you. Thank you for being here, body. Second thing to do, right before you eat, just say to your body, I'm going to consume this food. Please take this food, allow it to nourish yourself, and let me know if you need something different. Let me know if you want something more or less. Let me know what you need. Thank you, body. Just start communicating with your body, right? So saying thank you, letting it know you're gonna eat, and praising it for digesting right? Starting to open up those doors of communication back with your body. So I hope this helps. Um, if you have any questions, concerns, considerations, anything you want me to talk about, please let me know below and I'll talk to you in the next video.